Welcome back to Jason's Bricks and Five, where I discuss Lego content in videos of five minutes or less. Today I have kind of an impromptu video because I saw something online this morning, and I want to do a quick video because I have talked about it before. Looks like there is a French retailer, FNAC, um, they're online, and it looks like they are taking pre-orders for a set that has not been unveiled by Lego. Um, but they have pictures of the set on their website, so I thought I'd quickly talk about it because there's one thing that I think a lot of people will miss. And the set is the Walt Disney camera. It's part of the 100th Disney Anniversary series. And the set is, of course, a reference to the early days of the Walt Disney Company. The camera has a stand, and then there's a side piece where you can see some minifigures, and we'll explain that a little bit more. It's got a really interesting film piece, and you can see how they've turned the reels into the 100 logo. I think they've done a great job of capturing the look of a vintage camera. And you can see that there are five minifigures. It's the first time we're going to get a Dumbo, Walt Disney, and Bambi figure. The Mickey and Minnie are similar to ones we've had in the past, including the CMF and the Steamboat Willie. However, these do look a little different. I'm very interested in that piece of film to see exactly how they've made that and how it will stand up. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. But inside the camera, it looks like there is a compartment for Disney either to draw or view films. And then there's the eyepiece. And as we move down, this is the part I'm really interested in. You'll notice the side display that has the figures. And this is what I think a lot of people will miss. Behind Walt Disney is the multi-plane camera. For those of you who may not be familiar with the multi-plane camera, this was a breakthrough that the Walt Disney Company made in animating features. And they found originally in a two-dimensional image when they would zoom in, everything zoomed in equally but that's not how things work in real life so they found if they broke the image into different layers this would allow them to have more control over how that movement is perceived on that image because they can control the closer image to make it move a little bit faster and the further away images can move slower or not at all and this allows them to give a more realistic look to the cartoons now the way that they have the camera mounted is actually vertically and this is how the multi-plane camera is set up and that is what we see in this Lego set. You see, we decided for features. The camera needed improvement too. So here's an animated sample of the multi-plane camera in use from the 1957s from the Disney company and it's a pretty neat reference in the set here you can see a legoized version of that animation speaking of legoized animation if you look at this film reel you'll notice legoized versions of various films robin hood sword in the stone alice in wonderland which i think is a neat effect so i think it's a great set it looks like it will be something quite appealing at least to disney fans i think it might be kind of niche but um, I think it's a great set that they're doing. And you can see here it is on the FNAC website. It looks like it's going to be 99 euros and it will be releasing on September 1st. So I think this is a set I'm definitely going to be picking up. Um, let me know your thoughts. Is this something of interest or is it too niche? Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Jason's Bricks and Five.